if you watch the way we called the game, it means we trust them. You know, even on that last drive, I mean, we're, we're throwing, you know, four verticals with them. And, um, you, know, I, you know, I just think in my mind, I say to myself all the time, like, you know, these are professional football players. They've been doing this their whole lives. You know, David, let, let them go play. Like, don't try, to, don't try to overmanage the game. Let them go play. Let them make plays. And so sometimes you go for it fourth and half a foot, and you don't get it. They make a play. And sometimes, you know, we go make a play. So, um, uh, but I think one thing about Sam, he has some moxie, man. I mean, he's, I mean, he stayed in the pocket, had that long run called back, but, you know, finding Terrace on the third and 12. I mean, there were some huge conversions by Sam. And, again, it's him just playing within the system, but also I think he has a courageousness that, you know, um, he, he's not crossing the line going over the top. He's, he's protecting the football and still pushing the ball down there. And got, you know, look at the play Alex Erickson made. I mean, that, that ball, because it's going to be picked, is it not going to pick? It makes a great play. So a lot of production from a lot of different places. Oh, man, Sam handled the game tremendously well. Uh, he led well. Uh, he kept poised at the times where he needed. He made big throws. Um, and then, you know, when, when it came down to it, he made plays with his feet. Um, I mean, that's all you can ask from a quarterback uh, is just to go out there and, you know, uh, do what he can uh, and, and, and fight to win. What, what did you learn about him in that second half without McCaffrey out there that you didn't know before? Uh, we got a good one, man. Um, I mean, we got a good one. And he's only going to get better. Uh, so, uh, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's always hard playing without one of your best players. But uh, Sam stepped up and did a, did, did a tremendous job tonight. So, Michael, you know, we have some fun on this year's show telling each other that I told you so. We both enjoy being right, and it certainly beats the alternative of being wrong, right? But yeah, sure. So I, I, I sure. like being right. I like being right, but okay. I, li- I like I like the truth. I especially like, but I, I especially like being right about somebody in a good way. Okay. Right. I, I, I like being right in this context for Sam Darnold's sake. Okay. So this isn't about me being right. This is about I knew that Sam Darnold was not what we saw under Adam Gase in New York. I knew all he needed was a fresh start. I was very adamant at the beginning of the draft process. You and others convinced me that Zach Wilson was the second coming of Patrick Mahomes, and he still might be. It's early. Mm, He still might be. But you'll recall that I was very adamant that there was a lot to be said. I know there's economics involved, rookie contract for Zach Wilson, fifth-year option for Sam Darnold. I get it. There's a lot to be said for keeping Sam Darnold and building a better team around him. But maybe that wouldn't have worked out. Maybe he needed just what he got, which was a change of scenery. And I love this story more and more. I love the fact that Sam Darnold was 3-10 in his last 13 starts with the Jets, and he's 3-0 with the Panthers in his his first first, three starts. In his first three starts with, with Carolina. Right. What I'm loving about this story is... This is not, first of all, who Carolina wanted. That's a good throw. David Tepper was as hot, if Mm. not hotter, after Deshaun Watson, ironically, after what he did, uh, Sam Darnold did last night against the Texans, was as hot, if not hotter, after Deshaun Watson as Stephen Ross in Miami is, was and is. Sam Darnold was a bargain. They went bargain shopping. It's like, oh, okay, you'll give him to us for a, a six this year, and I think a second next year, whatever it is. Oh, sure, we'll take a 24-year-old quarterback reclamation project. What I love about it is he was their second choice. He was an afterthought to who they really wanted because they really were in pursuit of a star quarterback. How soon we forget that coming out of USC, he was a star quarterback, so much so that the Jets traded up to number three to get him. And when he was in New York, he was sexy. He was going to be the face of the franchise. Now all Carolina really needs him to do is to be steady, and stable yeah and now there's no pressure on him to be a savior the way he had to be in new york now he comes in with very low expectations for, for, from the outside world and he's thriving and then you saw a toughness and, a, and matt rule said a moxie in the second half without christian mccaffrey i love cameron Irvin saying we're not the carolina christian mccaffrey's we're a team i can't wait to see 24 year old sam Darnold continue to mature and grow and get better and show that like, hey, again, unanswered prayers. Sometimes the tr- best trades are the ones you don't make or sometimes you fall right. in love with the person you least expect. And I'm just so happy to be right about Sam Darnold 
because I'm happy for him. It was not on him how much he failed in New York. I know he had some bad habits, but it's amazing what a change of scenery will do. Mike, I, I, I got to tell you, I am not, um, I'm not a USC groupie. As a matter of fact, in the USC UCLA battle, I tend to favor UCLA. Why? Because one of my boys is the athletic director at UCLA. Shout out, shout out, Martin Germain. But really, so it, it's not, this is not a USC thing. I certainly don't cape up for the New York Jets. Does anybody in New York even do that? Okay, I love taking shots at the Jets. It's they so got easy. fans. They got so, hardcore fans. So I know they do. I know they do. It's just, it, it's just fun. <laughs> so it's not a USC I thing. Know you're it's not a Jets thing. It's not. Why am I rooting for Sam Darnold? Why am I rooting for the Carolina Panthers? Man, I'm rooting for them last night. Like, 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 like oh, that's my team. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but I think it's, it's part of it's part of what you said is that these guys and not just Sam Darnold, maybe because Sam Darnold is um, a composite of a lot of people of a lot of first round quarterbacks, highly drafted quarterbacks who have been put into difficult, if not impossible situations and been judged immediately unfairly. Uh, they've had their performances judged. They've had the performance uh, the performances of the teams that they played for judged before anybody was ready to be a, a real together organization. So in the case of Sam Darnold, he's dropped into New York the franchise is a mess. You got Adam Gase, who should never be a head coach again for anybody. I'm not, talking, I'm not no. talking about the NFL. I'm talking about college. I'm talking about high school. Like, he, no, no <laughs> more Sam Darnold. Uh, no, no, I mean, no Warner, more Adam Gase. No, fantasy football. So Adam Gase <laughs> is, your, is your coach. You've got all kinds of drama going on. I think the first GM was Mike McCagnan, if I'm not mistaken. So Mike McCagnan was there. That and sounds then, right. Gase kind of got him out. Then Douglas comes in. They're losing players. It's just a chaotic uh, situation. Ownership has never been great in New York. And so Sam Darnold, you you're supposed to, I'm supposed to work with this. So now he is in a good situation and we can see how, how subtle these things are, how fragile it is. It's not enough just to have the top pick in the draft, the top, you know, two, three, four pick in the draft, uh, bring in a quarterback. And expect that all of your problems are going to be erased. And I think that's why I'm rooting for Sam Darnold that, you know, people have given yeah. up on him. Uh, just kind of, oh, yeah, move, next. Okay, we got Sam Darnold, get out of here. We got Zach Wilson coming, so we don't need you anymore. Well, wait they all, everybody always wants to, everybody always wants the new shiny thing. They're always ready for something new, you know, hey. and it's like, I, I hope Carolina doesn't do that. I hope that I hope the Carolina right. the, the administration, the regime, the staff, the fan base give him a chance to get better. His talent has been undeniable. The dude's got wheels. He's athletic. He's got all the and tools. Some of those throws. Okay. Some of those throws, runs. Didn't he have a, a long run callback? Throws like, on there's the so run. much that he brings to the table. There's so much that he brings to the table. I hope they even if he kind of stumbles a little bit, give him a chance versus well, let's see if we can get the next big thing, the next big rookie or trade or swing a big trade. I think we're all rooting for him because we knew it's a cautionary tale. I saw it coming, but nonetheless, we're all guilty of it is indicting quarterbacks who go to teams that they have no say in the matter because of the draft right. system. No say in the circumstances that they get drafted into. NFL history is littered with those quarterbacks and players for that matter who are victims of their circumstances.